Okay, hi guys. I thought I would just come on and just, just kind of give an update of what's going on. I haven't been on for a while and I've missed you guys. So, it's getting cooler weather here. It's been like um, low 40s last night and tonight's actually going to be even cooler than that. And the highs have been in the 60s and 50s. So, I made my granddaughter this little ear warmer. Now this is just a rib stitch and then I added a fun stitch I thought would look cute and just kind of did a uh, little gathering here. Now this st was not a pattern of anybody. This is just a stitch I have in one of my books that I want I like and I've done this one before. It's the woven shell stitch and that's just a couple of rows of it she's five so I didn't want to make it too thick and so there that is kind of wish now that this had been the back of it but I was trying to make it look flawless and of course you always see what you do wrong but anyway this matches a jacket she has and I just kind of bordered it out with a simple um, half double to fit and make it you know smooth line or almost smooth line it's not quite perfect but it didn't have a pattern I just kind of started it and I like the design of this normally I just make a band and it's that time of year for uh, starting to create some of those I think they're kind of fun to do I'm trying to get a yarn I got um, at Walmart uh, we I met my daughter and granddaughter and we ran to Goodwill which I'm hoping to somewhere either put a little clip of that trip uh they had a couple of crocheted blankets there um i do like to look at to see if they have them because sometimes you can find really good um yarn to repurpose and it's usually fairly reasonable depends on what goodwill you go to i have one that i'm trying to move my camera i apologize uh i one that i go to they run about two or three dollars which if it's a big blanket it's great for repurposing that yarn there's another one that they can charge up to almost like five or six so I have to I don't usually get it from there but Walmart I don't know if this is new to Walmart or not or just or I've just missed it but it's the Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo 282 yards and I laugh because I had four of these in my cart and my daughter goes if you didn't have so much at home <laughs> She said, I would do it. But she goes, you got so much. But instead of the four, I got one. And I think this would be such a very pretty head warmer, ear warmer wrap. Or um, I'm tempted to start a shawl with it. I'm not quite sure. What do you think? Which would you do? Would you make it ear warmers? I could get a lot out of this, of course. Or would you think a shawl would be pretty? I think it'd be nice, and it's fairly, I like this, it's weird how some Red Heart seems more coarse than others, but um, this is feels softer, and I love the flex in it, I do like that, but anyways, that's what's my purchase today, um, the ear warmer, I am doing a pumpkin, oh yeah, it, I know it's nothing new, but I'm doing it in a different stitch, it's a little more um, textured. I am putting a, um, let me try to think which one I'm doing here. Da, 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 da. I'm doing a single, no, am I doing a single? This is a double and a slip is what I'm doing. So it's like, I, I'm so, uh, but it's gonna be a pumpkin. I had to go buy some more yarn so it's not finished. I do like this. Once I get this made, I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to gather the bottom as normal, but on top, I'm going to leave it open. And I'm going to put a ribbon and fill it up with flowers and see what it looks like. I've seen some plastic pumpkins that way. So now I'm curious as to whether that would look pretty. We'll see. If it doesn't, I'll just close it up like I would normally. And I'll just have um, an, another pumpkin. And um, so that is... Other projects, um, I had shown you some, I went to the library, and this is a great way to get a book, um, 
if you're learning to crochet, this one I think is, is a good one. It's a complete beginner's guide for everyday crochet. And they have projects in there, so you could try that. I mean, that's a pretty shawl. I like a um, rectangle shawl more than a diamond shaped, but um, our triangle, it's not a diamond. My granddaughter would get me for that. But I just wanted to kind of share this book with you. It's because uh, I think it is a good one. It just has the about how you choose yarn. It gives you some information on hooks. But, in you know, just different tools. But what I liked about it, it gives you a left-handed. A lot of them do that. But I like the diagrams in this. I mean, just in making a slip knot. So if you're if someone's new to crochet, there's tons of videos I know. But sometimes people like a book to have in hand, and it's just kind of a good, you know, beginner's book if you you know if you like that kind of thing. I mean, it does just you know the simple you know chain found it you know working a chain, foundation chain, and double crochet and a lot of the basics which we've covered. But it gives you like the projects here, like a small. Oh, that's something I wanted to show you. Um, I'm sidetracked. Sorry, ADHD moment. Um, I am making a big towel out of this um, peaches and cream yarn, and I have a lot to do. Um, this is the biggest one I've made. Normally, I make like smaller. I make them long, but only about. I'll make them about this long and about that wide. But this is going to be actual hand towel size. And um, that's showing you sideways. There we go. And this is, uh, what stitch am I using? In one stitch, I am doing a double crochet and a single crochet. Is that the... Yeah, single crochet, double crochet backwards. And then I'm skipping a uh, space and then double crochet, single crochet, or single crochet, double crochet, do it right, and that is, oh, I hate it when my mind does this, I forgot what stitch it, it's called, but anyway, that's what I'm doing with this, and it's getting, it's doing pretty good, so I'm working on these projects, I've still got a afghan I'm working on, my gray one, I need to sit and work, I will do a lot more crocheting with it cold, but um, sorry for the sidetracked, and they call it a squirrel moment, but it's like all of a sudden I just was thinking about it and it's like I had to jump to it before I forget it. But it does have a lot of the um same square. But the uh headband that I made oh uh, nope, not the headband. Where is it? The pumpkin I'm making is similar to this up down, except for I'm doing a uh Double crochet and I'm just slip knotting because I want my double shake double crochet to uh, do more of a little bubble effect and um, The grit stitch is when I'm doing the towel end see good because I ran across it and um, I do like to grit stitch for my hand towels so using it with cotton But then it, it just takes you on so it's a fast book review It's not something a lot of people like when I do but I think it's a good book to look for if you are um, just wanting to learn and kind of stroll through it, it's got like even flowers to make, a fringe. Uh, and I, I tell you what I want to try. I've never tried it. Is that twisted fringe? I do want to try that. Even has like a reverse single crochet, so it gives a nice little border and um, a peak coat. So you can kind of learn all these different stitches. And then they get have like basket weave. That's a nice one too. A waffle. I want to do a pumpkin in the waffle. Um, I think that would be pretty. So anyway, this just a you know, just a kind of a if you want to go to your library, look for this, or if you're trying to find one to, to buy, um, it'd be nice. So it's by June. Ooh, Gilbank. So it gives just kind of a quick look at that. There's some things I still want to do that. I like some of the other books I have, which um, we'll talk about later because I'm going to do some stitches out of those. And I'm going to show you, ooh, if I can find it. Sorry, looking at a blank thing, but if I can find the book, 
I showed you an Emigurumi book. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And my granddaughter has picked out... Here it is. I'll show you when she wants me to make her. And bookmark. I don't know if it's, that was where it was supposed to be. I'll show you what she wants me to try. And I have the yarn for it. So I might try this. I told you when we looked at it before, I said that I wasn't sure about it because, well, the directions were kind of, kind of worried me. That's not the kitty. Where's the, I mean, that's the cat. Maybe it's not a cat. Let me see. Does it have a picture of all everything? I'm sorry. I just want to kind of get on and see how you guys were doing. The mouse. She wants me to make the mouse. All right. Let me find the mouse. Miss, Miss Mouse. I bet that bookmark was where the mouse was, and I pulled it out. Little girl. A monkey. There it is. She wants me to make the mouse, and I have all these colors. So, I thought it was a good one when I saw that she did it. Yeah, that's what she picked. I thought, well, that might be good to hear. Any suggestions, guys, for the amigurumi to help me out, please leave it in the comments because this will be something totally new for me to do. I mean, the pumpkins, it's the closest I get to making an object or um, something specific like that. So, this would be something new. I do kind of want to get that done for. I meant for my other granddaughter to pick something she liked, but I for totally forgot. And if anybody, let's see, I think I feel like I'm rambling. Um, if you saw my post about my grandson, he did get to come home. I tell you what, kids are resilient. I panicked and I was worried. And then he's like trying to scoot around and he's just like, what? Nothing happened. I'm good, <laughs> which I'm happy for. Um, we did have fun with my other granddaughter being here. Uh, both of them got to, I had two of them and the girls got to play together and spend more time together. And if I'm, I know having the one that lives close to me with me made it so much easier and so much more fun for my other one. So, um, that was nice. Let me think. It's getting cold. What do you guys do when it gets cold? I mean, I try not to turn my heat on. My goal is not to wait till January. I'm in Western Kentucky, so yeah. I mean, it gets cold. It, it's it's not like it um, stays warm for. I mean, we're getting into our cold weather, but I tend to. I pulled out all my blanket. I love getting underneath about. Let's see, I've got like six blankets on my bed, and getting underneath and getting cozy underneath there. That's my favorite thing to do. So what do you do when it starts getting cold? I'll crochet more because it's just, uh, I don't know what it is. Of course, when it's 100 degrees, last thing I guess it's easy to do is to crochet a big blanket. But, um, let's see. Um, I have a Happy Meal I want to get together for a good friend. I've kind of talked to, found out what kind of yarn she likes. And now I'm going to go through my stash and find something for her. That hopefully she likes. I've got a couple of things that um, she might. It's hard to get for somebody else when you're not really 100% sure. I would love to give her some to make. Uh, she makes a whole bunch of these some bunnies. And that, I think if I give that to her, I wouldn't mind that. And um, I, I do. I have some that I've had for a while. So I might. That's what I might share with her. Because I want to thank her for last month. And on the 30 stitches in September. She was so supportive and she watched a lot of my videos and I want to thank her for that and I was kind of delaying because she was down where all the bad weather was so the hurricanes so I kind of waited to see make sure she was going to be safe and it was I'm going to be good to send it to her and so I'm going to get ready to do that and hopefully that goes out by Friday. I want to come back and do some stitches with you. I think that's something I enjoy doing. I hope you enjoy um, suggestions for videos you like. I want to do another Tunisian project. It is not my go-to, but I do like Tunisian. Uh, Michael from M MDL does a lot of the Tunisian, and a lot of people love watching his. Um, I do like Tunisian stitch. I just don't, it's not what I go to as much. And I've, I love my hooks because it does have the cord. So you can make nice big blankets. So hopefully we'll do some new adventures together here. Or trying out new things. And 
I'm going to do more headbands. If you want to see the tutorial on this, let me know. Like I said, it's not, I didn't follow a pattern for this. I just did the rib. What I would do differently is make this the back and start this, you know, make this the front. But um, I love her. She's not going to care, which is nice. And it doesn't look real bad. I, I can just see it. So, um, she was playing the other day and she put on her little coat, but she hood kept falling off. So I thought this might be great. This is made out of that, um, big twist. And I'm going to tell you what, this is really soft yarn. I wouldn't mind making a full blanket with this. And I might have to, um, I want to go to Hobby Lobby. I want to go to Michael's. Of course, if I go one direction, I can go to Joanne's too. Um, maybe we can do that together. If I get to do it. Uh, so that's it. I hope you guys are having a good day. I know this was kind of a bit rambly. And I'm sorry for that. But I'm, I'm glad to be able to share some things with you. I don't know if I shared with my little pumpkin here. He's my little one. He's going to go on top of somebody. Um, I made him to go on top of this if I didn't do the flowers. And then I decided I wasn't going to do the flowers at first. I was going to do this. And maybe a medium pumpkin in this cream. And I've got dark green, and then of course I have this one. And I have enough yarn to do another pu more pumpkins with it. But then I decided I might try to see about putting a little floral in it and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm done. It's getting, I still have a three-tiered pumpkin to make. And that might be the top of that three-tiered pumpkin. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, let me know in the comment how you guys are doing and what you're planning to do with weather getting colder is it getting colder where you are because um florida is still after all this is still warm weather because i know if somebody else down there not a crocheter but someone else down there that that she got sunburn they were cleaning up the yard after the hurricane and she got sunburn so that's got warm weather so uh what do you guys do when it starts getting cool and does it get colder in your area and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, guys. And I still want to do a big project with everyone. But I know that one starting to fall, our autumn project. And I know a lot of people follow him. So uh, I don't want to do, I don't know how that'll work. So may, I may just have to try to do it. But it's going to be a beaded weighted blanket. So we're going to try to do that. Get that started. If you're interested in following that, let me know just so I could give you of a list of things to get or supplies that you might want. You don't have to use black, but um, I just love the way the color pops on that. All right. I keep saying that's it, and I keep finding something else to chat about. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good nice day. <coughs> hey, guys. I'm at my local Goodwill, and this is a huge granny square blanket they have here now there's not a specific tag so I think these are running like a couple of dollars there's a smaller one this is how I get some yarn to repurpose them to redo them but I'm gonna leave these here today but I wanted to let you know sometimes you can find some good ones